Hi, I'm Maddie, and I'm doing a review for Nancy Drew, Secret of Shadow Ranch. Now, I'm not sure how well this video is going to turn out, because last time I was using my laptop, this time I'm using my mom's laptop, but last time I used mine, and what happened was the audio and video were so badly out of sync that it cut off what I was saying at the end of the video. So, I am not sure if it was my computer and this video will work better, or if it's the program, because it's the same on both computers, and it's just bad and I need to get a new one. So, anyway, just to be safe, at the end of this video I'm probably going to just stop, just wait for a few seconds before I stop recording, just in case it's really badly out of sync again, and I have to wait. But I'm hoping it's not going to be like that. So anyway, let's get to a review. Okay, so the plot in this game is that Nancy is supposed to be going to Shadow Ranch in Arizona with Bess and George to visit um, Bess and George's aunt and uncle, the Raleigh's. But what happens is that, of course, Bess and George don't show up. And they, um, because they're flight was like delayed or something they had mechanical problems I don't know something and then when Nancy gets to the ranch she realizes that the Raleigh's are at the hospital because their uncle Uncle Ed got bit by a rattlesnake so Nancy is basically alone at the ranch except for the people that work on it like the other dudes and so then she finds out that the night before she came, there was, like, people said there was a phantom horse that showed up, and it just, like, was, like, it just came running up, and then went running away, and in the middle of the night, and it was glowing white, like, glowing, and so, then she also finds out that everyone went outside to, like, look at the horse, and then when they came back, that's when Uncle Ed found the rattlesnake in his room. So, Nancy thinks that someone used the horse to get everyone's attention away so someone could put the rattlesnake in their bedroom. And so Nancy is going to try to find out why that happened. And you also see the phantom horse, like, you actually see it twice in this game. You see it. Um, the first time you see it, uh, uh, water, like, blows out of the pump house, like a pipe, like, got destroyed or something, I don't know. And then the second time you see it, the electrical wires burst. So, yeah, Nancy's gonna try to find out why that keeps happening. And then she also finds out that someone named, a girl named Frances Humber used to live on Shadow Ranch, like, a long time ago. And she fell in love with a robber, so, like, they couldn't, like, be together, but they were in love each with each other anyway. And so, the robber, whose name was Dirk Valentine, he set up, like, a scavenger hunt, almost puzzle puzzle thing to let Francis find treasure. So, Nancy's also going to try to find that treasure, and, of course, these two plots go together, like, all, like, everything in these games. Okay, and so, just got my notes here. Um, you have four characters in this game. There's Dave, who's their, the ranch's foreman. There's Tex, who is really creepy. He's not friendly, and he always talks like this. And he, like, he's just creepy. And there's Shorty, who is the cook. And then there's Mary Yazi, who is not on the ranch, but she owns a shop that sits right outside the Raleigh's land. And then there are also a lot of animals in this game, which I liked because I'm an animal lover. And you have four horses. There's the Phantom Horse. There's Bob, which um, Nancy rides Bob. And then there's Ace and Clyde who Bess and George were supposed to be riding. 
and um and then the, you have chickens which don't really do anything but you have to there's chicken like there's this one chicken that like you, at one point in the game you have to get eggs from the chickens and then there's this one chicken that tries to kill you if you get if you try to like take the egg from it then it, yes it will try to kill you so and then there's a rattlesnake and a scorpion well there's more than one but yeah there's rattlesnakes and scorpions who will also try to kill you if you go too close and now for the setting um yeah for the setting there's i think there's like yeah there's a lot of places you can go there's the ranch which like most of this game takes place on the ranch because it's where nancy's staying and that's where all the characters are except for mary there's mary Ozzie's shop who that's where mary is there's dry creek which is such a creepy place i mean it's like this ghost town and it's so creepy and i'll get into that later but and then there's trail stop which isn't very interesting there's like nothing to do except this really annoying puzzle which i will also talk about later and then there's cougar bend which is this place where you can find a bunch of petroglyphs to solve puzzles it's important and the ending takes place in a not not in all, any of these places i mentioned it's a new place but i'm not going to go into much detail because i don't want to spoil anything and as for the puzzles, oh my gosh, okay, the puzzles in this game were so annoying. There was a lot of them, and most of them were really hard. I could, n no way I could ever finish this game without cheating, even if I replayed it. Um, okay, so there's, my least favorite part of this entire game was the magnet puzzle. What you have to do is you have to use, um, there's like a box and you have to like get a magnet and then there's like there's like little metal chips like there's like little metal chips in a box with a glass over it that you have to use the magnet to get them through like this maze to the center but the really annoying thing is there's wooden boards over covering like half the glass so you can't really see where you're dragging the magnet Oh my gosh, that was so annoying. That that puzzle, just that one puzzle, frustrated me so much that I stopped playing the game and I didn't come back to it for two years. That's how much that frustrated me. And then I was like so happy when I found out that there is a cheat that you can do to get past that puzzle. All you have to do is go up to the puzzle, back away and walk down this, the trail a few times and like go back to the puzzle and then back away and walk down the trail go back to the puzzle back away you just do that over and over again i think you have to do it like 10 times and then the wooden boards will go away and you can see where you're dragging the magnet and i i was so happy that i could find that out but then oh my gosh mary yazi at at one point in this game makes you do a beads or not bead a jewelry sorting puzzle and this, this puzzle wasn't very hard, but the reason I really didn't like it, it really frustrated me, was because my game had a glitch in it, and so, like, you're supposed to sort jewelry by the, the shape, color, and size, and one of my size, one of my, um, jewelry sizes was off, like, there was the wrong symbol or something, and I couldn't finish the puzzle because no matter what I did, it thought I wasn't done. Because I wasn't using the right order that it was supposed to be. Like, um, for when I found a, a cheat, there was there was like, let's say I, ha I have three blue ovals that I'm supposed to sort. And on the back there's the symbol for a large, a large, and a small. And that's what I had. And what you're supposed to have to finish the puzzle was like a large, an extra large, and a small. Like that. So I couldn't get past that because of that glitch and that made me so angry and this puzzle was pretty far into the game i had to start the whole entire game over again and that just drove me crazy so yeah i just did not like the puzzles in this game okay so yeah the graphics um 
the graphics in this game are really cool. Um, like, it is kind of an older game, so the people's, like, movements, like, their hand motions are kind of, like, jerky. Not like the new games, like, where they're all smooth and realistic, but, like, yeah, it's just because it was kind of old. Um, and, but the people weren't too unrealistic. And then there was, the setting and, like, objects were really realistic looking. And it was really cool because whenever you go riding your horse, you can see, like, they show you, like, real pictures of the desert. And it looks really cool. So, yeah, I like that. And as for the music in this game, I really liked the music in this game. It was really, really cool. Um, it was really fun to listen to. And this game had one of, uh, this was one of my favorite games for music. Um, like... Yeah, this, this game, I think, had the best music out of a lot of games. Like, uh, I think this game was one of... I just think this game had really good music. Sorry, I'm not making much sense here. But, um... But the problem with this one is that the music played really, really loudly. And whenever you're trying to talk to someone... Okay, I'm running out of time, so I gotta hurry up here but whenever you're trying to talk to someone it'll like blare and you can't hear what the person is saying so that was really annoying like it could <sighs> that could be really annoying but the music was good so i guess it kind of balances each other out i don't know um as for the scary factor i thought of like a way to organize the scary things for uh, one of the five stars one star is not scary. Two stars is pretty creepy. Three stars is scary. Four stars is very scary. Um, five stars is blow your mind terrifying. I gave this game three stars because of Dry Creek. That place. It was so freaky. They played this creepy music whenever you went there. And, like... At one point, Nancy would say, like, after you'd be walking down the road, and then you'd see, like, in the window of the building, you'd see, like, oh, I really gotta hurry up. You see, like, a shadow of a person, like, pass through the window, and then Nancy will say, I'm getting the definite feeling that I'm not alone, and it's so creepy. I played this game with my sister a lot, and I made her, like, um, control the mouse every time we were there, because I didn't want anything to pop out at me. Um... So, yeah, um, and, yeah, that's all I have to say about this game. So, overall, it was a good game. I wouldn't recommend it as, like, if I was, if someone was going to start playing AC Drew games for the first time. I think they would have, like, a bad experience with the puzzles and stuff, and they would think they were too complicated, so I don't think that would be a good beginner game. But, overall, it was a really good game, so... Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'm pretty sure my next review is going to be Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake, so stay tuned.